Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, I opened up the D3 compressor slash limiter um, in Pro Tools. Uh, to beginners and new users of Pro Tools, this is a Pro Tools plugin. So if any user that's using Pro Tools will have this will have this plugin. So guys, what this does is it compress compresses or limits the vocal. Um, uh, gives you that nice warm feel. This is actually a great great compressor. Uh, so you don't need you don't need anything else. If, unless you're doing really really professional work so if you're just doing uh, home projects this this will do the job this will get the job done for you and it'll get it uh, done well if you know how to use it properly so usually when I'm compressing vocals I usually uh, put the ratio at six put the ratio at six I put the attack at at uh, uh, the earliest convenience because I wanted to attack the vocal right away and uh, I don't play with release much but I do play with the threshold now guys this will determine how much of the compressor uh, uh, is acting on your vocal or your instrument or your instrument. Uh, remember, if you you are using instruments, you don't you don't want too much ratio. This is how much uh, compression is is going uh, into your uh, into your vocal. So this is three to one, uh, six to one, or you can just go one to one. Uh, but you want to compress heavy on a vocal, so you so I so I, around six is the best is the best ratio uh, to throw in. But guys, this is basically it. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the plugin, give you guys a little overview on it. I hope you guys understood and learned something new. Thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.